Hey everyone, Trina here, back with another mixed media art video. Today is day 38, and we're going to play with some acrylic ink and some stencils. Maybe a little bit on the jelly plate. So let's get started here. Making some lines. Remembering I had to bring everything back down. So we're not like painting in the middle of the paper. Okay. I'm going to dampen my paper just a little bit. I kind of want to see how the acrylic ink plays with this paper. So we've got the Payne's Gray, my own little special recipe that I made up. That seems to be almost out, which is not good. Let's come in with the color shaper. This paper is a lot less absorbent than the Reeves, so it's going to take me a few tries to kind of feel out like what the paper is going to do. Like this is not flowing like it normally does, but that's okay. We can work around it. Let's go in with a palette knife here. Let's so we'll just make some marks. You can see that it's very dark. That is a lot darker than I was expecting. Let's come in. I guess we need a little bit more water. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I might be able to reactivate it a little bit. Let's see if we can take some of that off. If not, we'll just paint over it. Yeah, we'll just paint over it. If you can hear my heater in the background, I apologize. It's a very cold, chilly day here in lovely Kansas. I kind of just like those like that. What happens if we add a bit more water down here? I like those marks through there. You can pick up a little bit more of this paint. I don't hate that so much now. Let's let this dry and then we'll see where we're at. Let's roll out some white paint, whatever that is, sticky. Get our stencil out. Still loving the stencil. And we're going to print over top of that blue mark that we made with the ink. So let's let this dry and we'll come back with some medium and put that down. So I had a thought that maybe it might be kind of cool to lay down over top of that, like a little bit of the ivory black, and then put the stencil down again. This could be very bad. I don't know, it should work. Put enough paint on there. Try something different. Same stencil, but we'll just do two layers. Let's see what we got. That could be kind of fun. Let's let that dry. OK, 
Okay, let's roll out this gel medium. Make sure we get a pretty thin layer of it. It's picking up a little bit of that brown though. Where do we want that? I think I want it right there. <laughs> okay. We're going to press this down. We're going to let it dry for about 10 minutes. And we'll come back and lift it up. You can kind of see what we got going on here. I think it's going to be pretty cool if it transfers. Always the possibility that it won't. Okay. Okay. Let's take this off and see what it looks like. That came out nice. It's kind of different. I wish it were more white, but we can add more white in. Okay, I got another stencil here to try out. I really liked how the black turned out yesterday, so we're gonna try it again. This one's a little bit more tricky. It's got a lot more thinner parts on it. I did like the look of it. Might need to invest in some smaller paint markers. Okay, that's tape is gonna be in the way. This one's a little bit more tricky. I don't think I like that part, so I'm going to leave it off. Um, let's make sure we got everything in there. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. I just think they're so fun. I like the way it's like taking up the page. I almost feel like I want to put another one through there. I have another. Let's let this dry and let me look at it. Okay, we've got another stencil to play with from the same set. And I'm gonna overlap it just a little bit. Oh my God, it's so skinny. doing surgery. I just wanted one more line through there to kind of bring it up. Oh yeah, I like that. Maybe for a little thicker. Okay. I like that. I think that is really cool. But I kind of want to bring this lines through here. So let's get out a little bit of this and see what happens. <laughs> My sepia is getting a little low. I don't even know if there's any left in there. Oh, there we go. I'm not going to blend these together. I'm kind of liking how it's making these really dark, organic lines. I just want to kind of play with that a little bit. I'm really liking this. I don't want to overdo it. That really adds something, doesn't it? It really adds like, okay, we're gonna have to let that dry. Okay, while well, I went for that to dry, I'm gonna go in with the ink tints and make some marks through here. That's still kind of wet too. And then I wanna add some white. 
Okay, I decided I wanted it to be black instead. So, which way? I think this way. I could be making a big mistake here. I don't know. It should work. I just used some of the ivory black. I'm trying to mimic... Yeah, I don't hate that. Okay, I'm gonna come in and do more of the black. I feel like it's just needs a little something to bring it together. It feels very disjointed, like it's two separate ideas. This doesn't look terrible because this won't be a covered up. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, I like that. Okay, I'm really liking what we did here today. Um, I really like this section through here. And up here, I'm not so fond of the stencil. I think that kind of works, but it's not really what I wanted. It got a little muddy. Um, I'm going to need to rethink that. But I do like the brown part here and this section right here I think is fabulous. So we need to pursue more of the sepia with the black and that gray. Sort of like in there. I think it's really cool, but only bigger. Um... And I love these marks that I made with the sepia. Okay, let's look at it with a mat. And here it is with our partial mat. I like it. I think it looks cool. Um, I think tomorrow we're going to explore this idea maybe more. Maybe leave out the stencils. Like kind of put that to the side for a while. But I like the acrylic ink. And maybe we could add in some of the Nico Azo. And kind of play around with the ink shapes a little bit. Maybe pour some ink. Because I think that feels very organic to me and I really like it. Okay. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Click over here for another video. And I will see you tomorrow for uh, day 39. Thanks so much. Bye.